NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Deshaun Hall, DN, Texas A&M. Can we point out, by the way, that Greg Olson looks like he never ages? He's been in the league a long time. As for Deshaun Hall, I think people should remember, before Miles Garrett got there, they were talking about Deshaun Hall as if he was as good as Miles Garrett. And he was productive and played well opposite him. I really like his motor, and I, I think Mel, when I've watched him, he's a guy that will continue to get better at the next level, and you know what you're getting in terms of the effort level. You know, I don't put the pass rush. That was supposed to be his forte. He had four sacks against Arizona State two years ago, but then he kind of leveled off. I thought he actually played the run better than everybody thought he would, and everybody gave him credit for it. He was a decent run defender as a defensive end. He's 6'5 and a quarter, 266 pounds. He has a quick first step. When he's on, he can get the job done. I just didn't think his head rush repertoire was what I thought it would be at this stage of his development as a veteran player. Well, you look at the Panthers, my goodness, they give weapons for Cam Newton. Christian McCaffrey can do everything. Curtis Samuel, that blazing 4-3-1, tie him up along Kelvin Benjamin. They get someone to protect him, and they get someone to get on that defensive line and go after the quarterback. Carolina putting together a nice little draft. Mel's best available still out there. Jordan Lewis, another cornerback out of Michigan. Deontay Foreman, a 2,000-yard season for the Texans. Carlos Watkins, the big defensive tackle out of Clemson, and Carl Lawson, the DE out of Auburn, as well as the Ohio Bobcat, Terrell Basham. Well, will they go? It's all ahead as we continue in round three, day two of the NFL Draft here in beautiful downtown Philadelphia. With the 78th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the newest member of the Baltimore Ravens family, the Ravens pick, select, Tim Williams, linebacker, Alabama. Well, another defensive player for Nick Saban coming off the board. And Tim Williams, no doubt, flashed on the field, but he has some baggage. He admitted at the combine to failing drug tests at Alabama. He said, yeah, I failed a few of them. September 29th, he was arrested in Tuscaloosa, Alabama for carrying a pistol without a permit. He was then suspended for the first half of the Kentucky game because of that arrest. Mel, he didn't start a lot of games. Boy, he made a lot of finishing plays. Point him in the direction of the quarterback, and that's what the Ravens will want him to do. This is an organization that's had guys like Peter Bulware, Elvis Dumerville, Terrell Suggs. Now they got to get young. Matt Judon showed ability. Look at that what Lake Craig can do. Right. Look at him getting after the quarterback. Number 56 looked like that a top move. 10 pick going into the year. Then, obviously, here we go in the third round, Todd, because of the issues away from football. But you can say he's one-dimensional all you want. What's this league about? Out. It's Back a good dimension. Quarterback. Yeah, exactly. He is twitched up and sudden. He explodes off the line. He stays low. He can bend the edge, flatten out his rush, oh. get to the quarterback. He is a pass rush specialist who excels Lewis when his lone job is to get going after the quarterback. Look, between him and Tyus Bowser, you have two of the best three, four outside linebacker profiles in, in this in this draft coming up. And the Ravens know that they need to get younger. You know Ozzie Newsom has a pipeline to Nick Saban and get to get all the information down there so he can help a kid like this, make sure that he stays on the straight and narrow and stays on the football field. So between him, Chris Wormley now, look, they draft Marlon Humphrey, another Alabama guy. You know Ozzie Newsom again tapping into that Alabama connection. He knows what he's getting. He knows what he needs to provide for these guys to stay on the football field. They need to rebuild this defense, and they're well on their way to doing it. He's a big play specialist. 52% of his tackles were behind the line of scrimmage. Look, pretty good month and a half for him. That's his daughter, Zara, was born on March 16th. And now six weeks later, he finally hears his name called as Baltimore is all in on getting to the quarterback in this year's draft. The next pick is in. It's the Colts. Let's listen. To announce the New York Jets selection, please welcome from Auburn University, fullback Tony Richardson. With the 79th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York J-E-T-E -E Jets select our Darius Stewart, receiver, Alabama. 
Tony, you were so close. Does land that S? Just need to stick the landing on the S, and it would have been so much more effective. Speaking of effective, our Darius Stewart. I'll one. tell you what, he had a heck of a year he for did. the Alabama Crimson Tide. Nick Saban, he had to be one of Nick's favorites because he did it all. Talk about size, he's got it nearly six feet tall, 205 pounds. He's a really good player. His ball skills, outstanding. Great air from the catch, highly competitive. He had a drop in the Auburn game. That's the only one I saw in the seven games I watched on tape. Effective on ends or end around, willing blocker. He even showed the ability to throw the football for a touchdown. And he's only, right now, just touched the surface of what he can He's just coming into his own. There you go, end of rounds. He's very effective. Like I said the ability after the catch, you see it here. This kid has the desire and the willingness and the work ethic, Todd, to make himself a player that keeps improving and getting better. Yeah, I think early on he's a sub-package receiver who could develop into a good number two. The other thing with him is I really like he has a lot of experience returning and covering kicks. Look, this is 10.7 yak yards per reception for this kid. That's among the best in the nation. He gets the ball in his hands, he's going to make plays. You talk